Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, say hello to a classmate. Hello, how was your day? Anna Selmy, how was your day? Mm. It was terrible because my Why? iPhone, my uh, iPhone is, let me say, lock it. <laughs> really? What happened? <laughs> I forgot it. The puzzle. You forgot the puzzle. Oh my God. <laughs> All my terrible. life is <laughs> this year. Oh my God. That's I'm terrible. sorry, classmates. <laughs> no, what I understand. I understand you. I understand you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God. Thank you for you. You are good listener. <laughs> Thank you. And do you have do you have do you have any idea how to unlock? In this no? moment, no. I forgot the idea. I forgot the email. <laughs> I forgot. Oh my god! Uh, yeah, it it's... was terrible. But yes, yes, <laughs> it's possible. Uh, I Thank hope you. that I Are hope you sure? that you <laughs> that you recover soon the the password. <laughs> yeah. When, but iPhones are very difficult to unlock. When I feel more relaxed. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Forget it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, classmate. <laughs> okay. And you, Rosie, how was your day? Uh, nice, very. I think that was very quiet, quietly, quiet, quiet. I'm so excited because tomorrow is the last day because on Thursday we're going we're going to have a vacation day. <laughs> Tuesday, <laughs> teacher. Tuesday, we uh, we are off on Thursday. Ah, okay. We're this awesome. coming Thursday, the 15th, yes, yeah. we're okay. off. But yes. Friday, we have class. Oh. Tenemos <laughs> clase el viernes. <laughs> Avísenle <laughs> a su empleador, a su jefe, que ese día no pueden faltar a la clase. <laughs> Porque siempre dicen que tienen que trabajar los viernes. Entonces. I hope, don't forget it. <laughs> yep. Okay. Teacher, teacher yeah. is, cor is correct. Say, I need a bridge. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. No, it's incorrect. <laughs> yes, it is incorrect. Is it, and repeat, is it correct? Is it correct to say? It's correct to say. Is it correct to say? Is it? Isn't correct to say. Okay. Siempre solemos decir it is correct to say. Eh, pero eso estaría mal porque es una oración positiva. Right? Eso okay. es lo malo. Lo correcto es empezar con el auxiliar. Is it correct is to say? Mm -hmm. Is it correct to say? Uh, no, uh, th there is something like holiday watch over, I think it was. Yeah, it's something like holiday watch over. Watch over. Watch over. Okay. A holiday watch over watch is over, like like uh, Labor Day, for example, or Memorial Day in the States. If 
uh, let's say for example, the the holiday is on Thursday, like in this occasion, then Friday is another holiday, whatever. Uh, it's not a national holiday, it's just optional for whoever wants to uh, take it off. Okay. Yeah, we don't make bridge. <laughs> bridge. I, w I was thinking about the same that yeah, Wendy just asked because I couldn't remember. I couldn't remember how to say that, how to make puente, how to make bridge. Okay, so okay, if you don't want to say hello to your the rest of your classmates, let's get it going. Let's get this going. Mm. Okay. Yeah, they're asking the same questions in other groups. But anyways, let me do the attendance and then we move on with uh, the topic that we had pending yesterday. We need to practice today with neither nor. And we will, of course, review the topic before we start studying. Please do me a favor, turn on your camera. Now that we're going to do the attendance, please turn on your camera. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Thank you. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Flor de Maria Carballo Ugarte. Present. Gabriel Ignacio Lara. Here right now, okay. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Thank you. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Present. Thank you. Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. Okay, encendamos las cámaras, por favor. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Good evening, present. Thank you. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. And you say present. Okay, Nelson. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Hmm. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening, present. Thank you. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Thank you. Sandra Gladys Mendez Ramirez. Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Perez. Stephanie, okay. Susana Carolina Hernandez Iraeta. Present. Thank you. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good evening. Thank you. Good evening. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. Thank you. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Teacher. Hey. hey. I am going to arrive at home around 9 and 30 because I need I need to, to do something. But okay. I know it is okay. I am going to only here because I can uh, I, I'm not at home. Now. Okay, you're not home. Okay. I understand. Don't worry. Thank you, teacher. Eh, una Thank observación you. para todos, todos, todos. Eh, recuerden que el momento de pasar el listado es como lo que más audita Insaforp. Y se los digo sin miedo porque es la realidad. Entonces, este momento es cuando ellos verifican que su rostro coincida con el documento de identidad que presentaron para su inscripción. Es decir, hay una foto de registro, ¿verdad? Insaforp. Y si no hay una foto acá, pues se los ponen como ausente y empiezan a investigar si siempre eh, no están en la clase. Prácticamente estar con la cámara apagada es no estar en la clase para ellos. Eh, decir presente a la hora de pasar el listado, lo decíamos el día uno. verdad Es importante también porque del registro hay el Zoom. Anyways, let's move on. Let's continue. So, uh, let me start sharing my screen with the board. So we can do this together. Where are you? 
And I need to draw, I need to write. Yep, there, no, I don't need to draw, I need to write. There it is, text. Okay, so yesterday we did an exercise. Now I need your help recalling that information. So let's see. Yeah, there it is. So we had sentence half A and sentence half B. So I'll just go one by one with you so we can put this all together. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo, what is the other half of both, Peter? Okay. Walter. Hello, hello, teacher. Excuse me, excuse me. Okay, yeah, that's okay. <laughs> and Boren, Peter, and oh. I are coming next week. So like this, both. Yes. Both Peter and I are coming next week. Do we yes. all agree? Yes. Um, okay, thank you guys. Do we all agree? Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. Cool. So we all agree. Let's go with Roselena Salgado. Not only do we want to go. Oh my God. Not only do we want to go. But we have enough money. Mm. I forget. <laughs> oh my God. I forget it. <laughs> no, only. Oh. Uh huh. So, not only do we want to go. <laughs> I forget, teacher. You forgot it? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know if you want to go. Does anybody have the answer? The teacher. Yep. I have a problem. I see your screen out of focus. Okay. Thank you. Is that better? For me, teacher, for me, but we have enough money. I don't know. I guess so. What is the per conjunction for not only guys, everybody? <sighs> Neither, but also. But also, right? So if I say not only, the per um, conjunction will be no, but also. Uh -huh. But also. I think teacher is my. Mm, my problem because always I see your screen out of focus. Oh yeah, so it is an internet issue. If you uh, yes. if you if you turn off the camera, yes, uh, it's, the bandwidth it's, the bandwidth may improve. Let me see. Let me see. No, always. Just wait, oh. wait, wait a little. Wait okay. a little. It will. Improve. Uh, no, no problem. Continue. Okay. Uh huh. So not only uh, do not, we, not, let's, not, not only do we want to go. Let's leave. Also. Let's let's leave this one at the end. Okay. okay. Let's see if we can do it at the end. Let's see at the end. Uh, next, I'll go back to you, Rosalina. So Carla Vasquez. Either Jack will have to work more hours. I'm not sure. Oh. Let me see if I can just improve the size of the text. Yes, teacher, because I'm having problems to see it too. I think it's just too little, the, 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 the lyrics. The font? 
Yes. The font of the letter is too small. Yes. Okay. Now it is too big. Much better. So we are now on sentence half A, let's say either Jack will have to work more hours. What will be the per conjunction sentence here? You know that. <laughs> you know that one? Yes. <laughs> So then you say that one I know. <laughs> yeah, that's what I know. That one I know. <laughs> okay. Let's see, Carla. Let's see. Let, let's give it a chance. Either Jack <laughs> will have to work more hours. Uh, okay. Either Jack will have to work more hours. Everybody, what is the parent conjunction for either? Or. 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 So what will be the second half of the sentence? Either his career or his Kirk, Either his career or his hobby. Mm, but either is already here. So either Jack will have to work more hours. We will have to have. Okay. Uh huh. Rosalina. <laughs> okay. Either Jack will have to work more hours or we will have to hire somebody new. Or we will have to hire somebody new. That's right. Okay. Thank you, Julia Patricia. That story was. Neither true nor realistic. So that story was neither, neither true, true nor realistic. Nor realistic. Totally agree with you. Edwin mm -hmm. Alexander. Students, yes, thank you. Students who do well. Not only study hard, but also use their instincts if they do know the answer. If they do not know, if they do not know the answer. Okay. If they don't know the answer, if they don't know the answer. Okay, saying I'm working. Oh no, no. Oh no, oh no. No, 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 no. Okay, hold on. It's the bad part of using this whiteboard. But anyways, I'll continue with it. There we go. Okay, so we said both Peter and I are coming next week. Then we said, not only do we want to go and we left it blank, either Jack will have to work more hours or we will have to hire somebody new. Okay. Either Jack will have, oh my God, that was the second one, sorry. There we go. That story was neither true nor realistic. Okay. And last one, students who do well, not only study hard, but also use their instincts if they do not know the answer. They don't know the answer if they don't know the answer. Okay. In the end, he had to choose Ophelia, 
in the end, he had to choose Oh, that, that this one is easy. In the end, he had to choose. Ophelia, Ada Patricia. Mm. Mm. But we have enough money. Think. In the end, we had to, he had to choose. Al final, tuvo que elegir. What? Either his career or the hobby. Excellent. Either his career or his hobby. In the end, he had to choose either his career or his hobby. Excellent. Sometimes it is. Nelson Edgardo. Sometimes it is. Your microphone. <laughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes uh, mm. But we have the no money. Mm. A veces es, pero tenemos suficiente dinero. Hmm. Mm. Think, think, think. Sometimes, uh, sometimes it's, but my, um, my sometimes it's not only wise to listen to your pardon, but also interesting. Interesting, very good. Let's see. Sometimes it is not only wise to listen to your parents, but also interesting. Okay, Gabriela, Alejandra, I would love to take. I would love to take both my laptop and my cell phone on holiday. Okay, so by eliminating the rest of options, we were left with this one only. So let's see, not only do we want to go, but we have enough money. Yeah. I, re I remember what happened with this. It's mm -hmm. missing also because only, but also. <laughs> but, yeah, because, but we, it's missing also. That's right. Thank you. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> At this point, I remember. <laughs> okay. Not only do we want to go, but also we have enough money. That's it. Good job. Now, this is the only way of learning how to do these things, you know, how to use uh, paired conjunctions and anything else, everything else. If you want to learn, just practice, practice, practice. So just to continue with this, uh, we have two scenarios, two um, sections, let's say. In today's section, we're going to continue with this sort of exercises. We're going to combine the sentences into one sentence using pair conjunctions, but both and not only, but also either or and neither or. So I'll send you another list. It's very short. This is a very short list, or at least it is shorter than the previous one. Let me see. Here, here, okay. And the second part says to the teacher. Hmm. Hold on. So it's the same exercise, however, it, it, this is more interesting. Okay, I got it. There you go. Let's see. Okay, so here you have 
what you have with you on WhatsApp is just a list of um, sentences divided by a period. They're separated by a period. So the same thing we're doing, but now you're going to use not only, but also either or and either or both and. So for example, the first one says we could fly, period. We could go by train. Just tell me what parent conjunction will you use there if you have two options? Bien, tengo 18 estudiantes de los cuales solamente 5, 6, 7, 8 tienen encendida su cámara. Voy a empezar a elegir entre las personas que tienen apagada su cámara, que no me han dado una excusa para estar con la cámara apagada. Así de que, uh, I don't know. Let me think, let me see. This is difficult. <laughs> Whoops. Um, ok, guys, don't be shy. You can just tell me, hey, teacher, I'm, I'm having dinner. I'm sorry, I'm having dinner. Or teacher, I'm changing my baby's diaper. I don't know, whatever it's going on, just, it's okay. Okay, so I'll split you in groups. Are you understanding? You have, for example, we could fly, we could go by train. So let's see. Gabriela, what do you think? We could fly, we could go by train. And Either we could fly or we could go by train. Perfect. You got it. That's the way. Thank you very much, Gabriel. So let me split you in small groups. Please practice. Do these sentences. It's just like how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sentences. And well, Gabriel, I just made one. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I said, uh, sí, sí, dije, uh, solo hay una persona que me ha dicho que está trabajando. It's okay. So let's go. Let's, let me split you in small groups and do that. You will have only 15 minutes. Today you have to work in groups. So let's do it. To get there, you know what? Hold on. Four. There you go. Okay, okay, let's go. Hello, everybody. Hello. Okay, who is that? If you want, I can share the the document.
guys, remember that this is teamwork. So participate with your classmates. Come on. My, my examples. In this case, Jack is not there. Neither Tom is in another is in another city. Or there's neither. For me, it's neither. Yes, I agree with that. Uh -huh. Si entro desde la máquina, no me puedo conectar al grupo. Yes, you can. Es que ya me conecté. Okay. Entonces no sé, no sé cómo hago si me paso, si, si puedo entrar al grupo, al grupo yep. que estoy. Yeah. Estoy registrando. I'll send you the, I'll send you the invitation. Okay, thank you. Estoy en otro lado. Ah, okay, okay, hoy sí. Okay. Que así les proyecto. Ah, okay. Gracias. Uh -huh. the, speaker, the speaker will not confirm the, the story. The speaker will not deny the story. Story, 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 story. History, story, story. This is a story. The speaker will not confirm the story. The speaker will not deny the story. Um, the speaker will not confirm the story. Neither the speaker will not deny the story. Mm. You can see? Yes. Creo que no había copiado las anteriores. Okay. Okay, ya me salí del otro. <laughs> okay. In the first, you uh, we, could, we could we could fly either. This either either okay. uh -huh. We could fly either, but we uh, we have to. Uh, uh, yeah. We could fly either. We could go to by train. We could go by train. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. She will have to study hard. Either. Is she will, yes, yes, because it's. Yes, okay. Either she will have to concentrate to do well on the exam. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is in either. Okay. That is not here. Neither Tom is in another city because Jack and Tom are in, are in yes. close. Yes. Okay. The next, the for me, will not uh -huh. confirm the story. But, but also, the speaker will not deny the story. Um. Not only, not only. only. Mm. The speaker will not online say what for element is a sentence. The I have this with closes now. I so think not maybe only, that. Yeah. And confirm and deny. Maybe that, not only. Mm. Not only, uh, but also. The speaker will not confirm the story. For me, it's neither. Neither because because um, will not for me yes. neither the speaker will not confirm the story because because are a negative addition. Mm. Okay. Yes. For me. Yes. Yeah. Both. It makes yeah. more sense. Both. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
speaker will not the speaker will not confess the story. The speaker will not. The speaker will not. And not, not Neither. only. In this one, I think and we, we uh -huh. could use neither. Neither the speaker will not confirm the story, nor, nor? the speaker will not mm -hmm. deny. Teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, when we use neither, and the sentence is already in negative, we have to omit the not. Uh -huh. Or we have to, just to keep the 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 sentence and as it is. Okay. The speaker will neither confirm nor deny the story. And again, the speaker will neither, I'm sorry, the speaker neither will, yeah, because we said we were going to add the auxiliary, hold on, the speaker, the speaker neither will confirm nor deny the story. The speaker neither will confirm nor deny the story. Why does this happen? Because you, you can remove, I mean, it will be redundant to say the speaker will again. Yes. And neither, as as your classmate was saying, neither nor makes the sentence negative. Mm -hmm. You don't need mm -hmm. the not. You don't need the not. Answering your question, you don't need to say not. Right. Okay. So we just have to modify the, the sentence. Right. The speaker neither will confirm nor deny the story. I, uh-huh, uh-huh, T-H, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> it's, it's not easy to, to remember. I don't know why it's not easy to remember the writing of that word, neither. Yes. Okay, keep it up. Thank you. Either no. for either no, because it's different. It's a different mm -hmm. subject. Mm -hmm. oh. mm. Um not only Fred loves traveling, mm -hmm. but also James wants to go around the world. Uh -huh. We can put it. <laughs> okay. I think. I yeah, think. Me too. What else? Oh. What is suppose I can? I need to. I. I want. I going to write both. I don't remember. Oh. We say both, uh, or we say uh, not only. Uh, mm, not only. Okay, I'm confused. I don't remember. And I say it. Okay. Next one. Okay. Eight. Eight. What? Either, either it migrate tomorrow. Either it might rain tomorrow. Either it might rain tomorrow or it might snow tomorrow. Yes. Either. Or. Or. Okay. Ok, 
Okay, the last one. Playing tennis is good for your heart. Go jogging is a good for your health. Playing tennis. Uh, mm, mm. Both. Uh, both playing tennis is good for your hair and join and I don't know. Maybe it's not only playing tennis is good for your hair. Sorry. Um what say not only playing tennis is good for your heart, but also jogging, jogging. jogging is good for your heart health. But, uh, yes. What do you think? It's correct. Is that not, not only playing tennis is good okay. for your heart, but also joining is good for you. I think it's that. Me too. Another one, another option of, you think that is correct? No, it's correct, not only. Mm -hmm. Okay, well. We finish it. Yay! Good. <laughs> okay, good job. Actually, let's let's see. Let's see if we all agree on your answers. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's keep it going. Teacher. Hey. Uh, I have to ask you for, for, for permission because I have to go to sleep my baby. Okay. So I'm going just to listen, but I'm going to turn off the camera. You have to put your baby to sleep. Yes. Okay. Put your baby to sleep. Go ahead. You're welcome. Okay, guys, so the ones remaining, let's see. Let's go one by one. We could fly. We could go by train. So who has the answer? Go ahead. Me, teacher. Mm -hmm. Neither we could fly or we could go by train. Hmm. Like that? Neither we could fly or go, or we could go by train. What do you think, guys? Okay, I need everybody's attention and opinion here. So turn on your microphone and help here. We use there. We use you used either, Susana? Yes, we could fly, either we could go by train. Okay, so hold on. Either we could fly or we could fly either, we could go by train. Okay, now this it's an or. Uh, it, it sounds redundant, right? Either we could fly or we could go by train. Why do you want to repeat the subject and the model, right? So either we could fly or go by train. Good? Yes. Don't, don't repeat the... Um, it's not necessary to repeat again the... The mm -hmm. subject, uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Or the auxiliary, yeah. in this case, mm -hmm. the model. So next, man, this is long. She will have to study hard 
she will have to concentrate to do well on the exam. We use that. Hmm. We have to start hard either. She will have to concentrate. But I have a doubt with the she. Mm, with the subject. Yes, with with repeat. With repeating the subject. Okay, it's the same answer. Try not to repeat something just because, you know. No, that's not the structure. So. But no, it's not neither, it's not either. Adriana has the answer. But also. Uh -huh, Adriana, very good. So not only. Not only. Have to study hard, but also I could yeah. And answering your question, Susana, I could remove the um the subject and the auxiliary in this case. So not only she will have to study hard, but also I don't know. Hold on, have yeah, like that. Let's see, not only she will have to study hard, but also concentrate to do well on the exam. Not only she will have to study hard, but also concentrate to do well on the exam. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Why? Because I already have the she, the will, the have to right, on the first sentence. So I don't need to sound um, redundant. Okay, next one is easier, I think. Okay, Jack is not here. Tom is in another city. Jack is not here, neither. Tom is in another city. Hmm. Remember, mm. remember that you need to use both conjunctions, neither or, or uh, either or. Mm. Again, neither nor either or. Yeah. Or also. Let's see, not only Yak is not here. Um, uh, yes, it's not necessary in the middle. Um, I'm thinking putting the the conjunction in the middle, but it's not necessary. I can put at the beginning also. You can put it at the beginning, yes, yeah, or at the, the end, middle. In the middle, not at the end. Only in the beginning and the middle. Oh my god. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Come on, guys, give it a try. Some of you finished everything. Come on. Gabi, Gabriela. I'm sorry, I have a cousin. <laughs> Name, think, Gabriela. Mm -hmm. uh, neither Jack nor Tom is here hmm. or is in the city. Neither Jack, neither Jack is not the, is not nor here. Tom. Oh, yes. Are here. Hmm. Going back to the previous um, lesson, neither Jack nor Tom is here. Yeah. Neither Jack nor Tom is here. So, we respect the last person because it's a separate subject. Okay. Neither Jack nor Tom is here. Neither Jack nor Tom is here. Neither Jack is here nor Tom. Sounds less redundant. So it doesn't matter if you eat, let's say, or you delete some words on the phrase, 
as long as it makes sense. So again, neither Jack nor Tom is here. Be careful with is or are. Okay, next, the speaker will not confirm the story. The speaker will not deny the story. Come on, come on. I gave the answer to one of you. We use but also, but it's, it's, it's not correct. It is not correct? Why? Yeah, because you're neglecting, right? Because you're... the structure, yes. The, structure, the other sentence is not the same. You're neglecting twice. That's right. You're saying two negative sentences. <laughs> um, huh? Maybe the speaker neither confirmed the story nor deny the story. One more time. The speaker, oh, mm -hmm. the speaker neither confirmed the story nor deny the story. Deny. Deny. Let's see. The speaker neither confirm the story nor deny the story. Does it still sound redundant? Now, one, two questions. Number one, what is the, gram the grammatical tense on this sentence? What's the time? Is it past, future? We have to respect the time in one of the sentences. Remember that. So the speaker. Maybe. Sounds like future. Maybe not only the speaker will not confirm the story, but also will not deny the story. Hmm. Other option. That will be another option. Not only the speaker won't that sounds redundant not only the speaker won't confirm the story but also deny the story come on guys okay the speaker will neither confirm oh i'm sorry confirm the story nor deny it In that way, teacher, it's so difficult because for Why? me, for me, for uh -huh. me it's so difficult because it's like a mathematic mathematic exam. You learn something, and at the in the in the hour of the exams, it's not uh, at, right in the moment of yeah. Uh, right. At the moment, at the moment not, of the test, nothing is like the class. Example, I go blank. Yes, because it's not for me. Okay, I try to understand. It's not necessary to to write the same sentence. I can contract it. I can make the sentence short, but with a sense. Yes, you I may know. you may diminish. Yeah. You may diminish words. Uh, this is very important. Uh, super rápido. Yes. Desde básico uno yo les hago hincapié en esto. Yes. Reemplazar los objetos o sujetos. Eh, los que están tácitos, creo que se dice. Ya, los, los objetos y, y nombres. Los objetos 
objetos propios, los objetos, nombres propios, reemplazarlos con sujetos uh -huh. u objetos. ¿Cómo así? Lo que acabamos de hacer. ¿Ok? Si yo quisiese decir eh, the speaker y supiese que el, the speaker es Mario, por ejemplo, Mario will neither, ¿ya? No sé el nombre y no quiero decir the speaker, digo he will neither confirm the story nor deny it. Ahora, ¿por qué suplanté the story como objeto? Y, y vuelvo, vamos a lo básico. Sujeto, auxiliar, negativa, verbo, complemento. Otra vez, sujeto, will, o sea, el auxiliar del tiempo gramatical, not, verbo, complemento. Ahora, en este caso, el complemento, en muchos casos, siempre lleva un objeto, el que recibe la oración. Entonces, si en ambas oraciones tengo sujeto, sujeto, auxiliar, auxiliar, negativa, negativa, un verbo, otro verbo, y las dos oraciones. Entonces, respondiendo a su pregunta, sí, no es que yo voy a, o sea, el ejercicio este no es reescribir todo respetando lo que está en cada lado, solo por agregar las per conjunctions, los conectores aparejados. No, hay que darle sentido a eso. Entonces diría, el, ¿qué sería acá? El ponente. El ponente no confirmará la historia. El ponente no negará la historia. Ojo, ¿eh? El ponente no confirmará la historia. El ponente no negará la historia. O sea, el ponente ni confirmará ni negará la historia. Incluso acá puedo ser más breve. The speaker will neither confirm nor deny the story. Escribámoslo. Es lo mismo, ¿eh? Ahora, ¿por qué ocurre esto? Porque si hablamos igual en el español, o sea, a veces es más largo, a veces es más corto. So dije, the, the speaker will neither confirm nor deny the story. Ya no necesito ese sujeto al final, ese objeto, perdón, al final. Ahora, ¿qué es lo que está ocurriendo acá? Lo que me dice Roselena. Es que me hago bolas con eso. Eh, esto porque no practiqué o estudié suficientes objetos pronombre. O sea, me voy, reviso cuáles eran los objetos pronombre. Ah, ya. Ojo, eh. Hay objetos tácitos, igual que en el español. O sea, no, no necesitas ni mencionarlo porque ya está en el contexto de la oración. ¿Se acuerda, Roselena, de, del bicho? Ah. Sí, el bicho va. Ah. Y todos los demás. Así Roselina sabe que le estoy hablando. Y fue hace como un año. Ajá, ajá. Sí, 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 me acuerdo. Las demás ni idea, pero en el contexto de Roselina y mío sabemos que, que el bicho quiere decir fulano. Right? Y así, ¿no? Un ejemplo. ¿Make sense? Yeah. So difficult, but with practice, oh my God. It's like Spanish. <laughs> it's like in Spanish, it's the same thing. Okay, no, so. Con el tácito. Ajá. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Cabal. Es lo mismo, está en el contexto de la oración. Hey, I go blank. I go blank. When I see her, I go blank, man, I swear. At this moment, I go blank. <laughs> I'm blank. <laughs> yeah, I went blank when I yeah. saw that. Okay, diminish. Diminish is like reduce. To reduce someone or right. something to its minimum expression. That's right. So okay. be careful. Americans tend, Americans tend to diminish their speaking. So yeah, that's it. And that's the way we do it too. Vea. Vea. Va. Va. Va, que sé. Ok. Sí, yeah. En lugar de decir verdad. Ok. N neumonia. 
pneumonia is a dangerous disease. Smallpox is a dangerous illness. <gasps> oh my God. Uh huh. I wonder the. I said it right. Oh, smallpox is one word. Let's see. Let's see if I said it right. Pneumonia is a dangerous disease. Smallpox is a dangerous illness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, I have a question for you. Is disease the same as illness? Are they synonyms? No. I think that no, but illness is something that near uh, um, illness is something that is need manage with. I think I think this mm -hmm. illness is some something that needs to be to be managed, and disease is something that needs to be cured. Mm -hmm. I think I think. <laughs> it's it's not the same. Sounds the same, but it's not the same. <laughs> True. They are synonyms. However, when you apply them, as Rosalind is saying, illness it a more is a more extended period of time. And disease is like I have uh disease, you know, I have the cold, for example. I have a cold. And there are specific syndromes, specific symptoms. So how do we use it? Pneumonia is a dangerous disease. Smallpox is a dangerous illness. Not only pneumonia is a dangerous disease, but okay. also smallpox. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not uh -huh. only. I sound, that sounds good. Pneumonia is a dangerous disease. But but also, but also smallpox. smallpox and th this goes together okay what is small smallpox what is small uh, what is smallpox 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 yeah okay so let's see not only pneumonia is a dangerous disease but wait but also smallpox but also, but also small, wow, but also small, smallpox. oh my God, but also smallpox, but also smallpox. Okay. Yeah, that this, this also, all small, also smallpox, also smallpox, all smallpox. Wow. Wait, what am I doing? Hold on. But also smallpox. Okay, let's go with the next one. Fred loves traveling. Jane wants to go around the world. Okay, while you think on this, because I know it is your thinking and you were supposed to do this in groups, let me do the attendance really quick, okay? Oh, but I have to stop sharing. Hold on. I'm just gonna copy this just in case. Yep, I may lose it. So, um, turn on your camera, please. Ana Patricia Linares Galdames. Here. Thank you. Adriana Stefani Martinez Flores. Ana Sermi Chévez. Que se desconectan. Okay. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Excellent. Flor de María Carballo Garte. Present. Gabriel Ignacio Lara. Gabriel was around here. I don't see him, no. Okay. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Thank you. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Yep. Here. <laughs> Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. She said she was going to take care of the baby. Okay. Carla Veronica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. 
Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher. Ofelia Oriana Arce. Here teacher. Here teacher. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Your good evening present. Thank you. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Pérez. Thank you, Sandra. Stephanie, Stephanie. Stephanie was around. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. Hey. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. And he present the journal. It's coming home. There he is. Thank you. Hey Wendy, how's the weather okay. in Santa Ana? Sorry, teacher. How's the weather in Santa Ana? It is raining now, teacher. It's raining. Wait, are you in Santa Ana too, Wilfredo? Yes, yes, it is so nice. It is raining. I, I went to Santa Ana on Thursday last week. Or Friday. Me? I went to Santa Ana on Friday. No, on Friday I went to Santa Ana. I had to go somewhere else. And and I I stopped by I stopped by Panaderia Los Eduardos. Mm, I don't know. You don't know Los Eduardos? Eduardo. Mm, I I I haven't heard about that. You haven't heard <laughs> about that? It's close to La Despensa de Don Juan in La in El Palmar. Uh -huh. uh, is, it is going to the stadium? Mm, in that direction, yes. I'm okay. Going down on the 25, I think it is. Yes. I remember. But it, it's hidden. It's hidden to the public. That was like, but that, that bakery has been there for 40 years, almost 40 years. I used to, I used to deliver bread. I used to deliver bread when I was a kid with my brother. We used to wear some sacks, you know, like two sacks on each side and then go like, el pan, right? Delivering the bread. It was funny. It was great. So whenever I am, whenever I go to Santa Ana, I stop by and I buy some Marielenas. Yes. Yeah. It's a good, a, good, a good sweet bread. Yeah, it's good. Sweet. Pastry. 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 It's pastry. good pastry. It's very nice pastry. Okay, so man, it was so funny. The the owner told me, "Your grandmother owed me three hundred colones," and I'm like, really? Ooh, "Many years ago, teacher? Like twenty years ago, or more yeah. than twenty years ago?" And I was like, "Really? Thirty years? Thirty years ago?" <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, she owed me 300. She's she's old. She's very old. I guess she doesn't even remember things, you know, but uh, that was funny. And this delicious, still delicious. Okay, let's stop talking about food because I'm going to get hungry. That's not good. Okay, where were we? Hold on. Let's finish this. Come on. See, I lost it. I knew it. Let me get it back. Let me go. Oh. Come on. So we were saying, uh, next one. Uh, not only pneumonia is a dangerous disease, but also smallpox. Okay. Fred loves traveling. Jane wants to go around the world. That's easy. Oh. Not only Fred loves traveling. And I made a little boo-boo. I made a boo-boo. <laughs> yep, I made a boo-boo. And it's not going to work. Okay. Where was it? So, yeah, not only... For me, for me, it's not only... I, I, try, I try to understand, teacher. Mm -hmm. Not only Fred loves traveling, but also... Uh, James, uh, oh my God, I, I forgot. <laughs> you forgot it. Hold on. No, I yeah, got it. I'm looking. I'm looking here. Um, you're looking for it. I got it. I got yeah. it. I got it. Okay. So, uh, huh, Fred <laughs> loves traveling. Only, James wants. Not only Fred loves traveling. Also, James 
But also? But also, James. Wants to travel. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Not only Fred loves traveling, but also. James. Jane. Jane wants to. To go around the world. Hmm. Not also Jane. Love it. <laughs> Hmm. I made it up. <laughs> hmm. You know what? What do you think, guys? Come on. Not only Fred loves. Uh, teacher. Also... Uh, yeah. What about uh, both Fred and loves traveling and Jen wants to go around the world? Hmm. But when you say both, most likely you need to use the the subjects at once. Both Fred and Jane love traveling and going around the world. <laughs> Remember that both is, it's a, the perth conjunction for both is and. Both Jane, I mean, both Fred and Jane love traveling and going around the world. Uh, I said and again, and that's redundant. So yeah, and I think that's the best option. Not only Fred loves traveling, but also Jane wants to go around the world. That sounds good. It's acceptable. Let's do it with the last two. It may, it might rain tomorrow. It might snow tomorrow. What? What? I think Rosalena is scolding me. You scold me when you're muted. You're bad yes. teacher. Bad teacher. <laughs> yes. You're a laughing teacher. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. Either it might rain tomorrow. Or okay. it might snow tomorrow. Either it might rain tomorrow or, or snow tomorrow. Oh, you don't need to say tomorrow because it's redundant. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Either it might rain tomorrow or snow. See yeah. well, thank you. <laughs> Good job. Or llueve or nieva. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. That's it. Either it might rain tomorrow. That's right. Okay, let's move on. Playing tennis is good for your health. Jogging is good for your health. Hold on, playing tennis is good for your heart. Jogging is good for your health. Ven como va el cerebro. Eso es un claro ejemplo de que tu cerebro lee más rápido que tú. Yes. Yeah. Both. Play. Tennis and jogging. Okay, okay. <laughs> yes, but tennis and jogging. Yeah, tennis and jogging are good for your heart and your health. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> no. we couldn't do that. Hmm. I mean, I mean, you could healthy. do it. You can, you are can. Healthy. <laughs> are healthy. Uh-huh. Healthy. Healthy. But this is your opinion. Yeah. Both tennis and jogging are healthy. Okay. But there's another way to say. <laughs> yep. Can I say are good for for example, mm -hmm. are good for my heart and my health? <laughs> no. It, <laughs> It's redundant in context. <laughs> in context, that that's redundant. Why? Because the heart and the health yeah, yeah. are the same. Yeah, I will yeah. say health instead of heart. Health that's right. Okay. <laughs> so the point is, this is just another way of saying things. Remember that using paired conjunctions puts everything together, right? It's to add more information to describe something better or in a different way. 
That's the whole point of it. Let's see. Let's see if this works out well. Up next, we need to come up with a story. Now, I typically do this. This is what I always do. I, because I'm not supposed to be talking too much. So each one of the students in this class will give me a verb. Okay. So, and you know what? Oh, no, what am I doing? Please type a verb on your chat on zoom here in zoom on zoom sorry here on zoom go to the chat and type just one verb do not repeat somebody else's verb don't repeat somebody else's verb hurry up cook play go speak mm -mm. Enjoy, okay, that's acceptable. Don't say cook, play, go, run, come on. Just Rosalina has typed in, come on guys, you can do it. Te van a robar el verbo y papá está... Uy, eso iba a decir yo. Uy. Ok. Luz. Hmm. How many are we? We are 17. Because one of your classmates is working right now. So, ok. I need 17 verbs. Choose. Ok, Gabriela's. Gabriela selected choose. Eat. Come on, Susana. You can you could have done better, but it's okay. It's okay. Eat. I like it. Everybody likes that verb, loves that mm -hmm. verb. Compose. Okay. Mm -hmm. Come on. Let's get complicated. Remember. Remember, that's a good one. While we wait, what's the difference between remember and remind? Come on, guys. I only have four people on the chat. Choose, eat, compose, enjoy, lose. Lose yourself in glance. Oh, no. Lose yourself to dance. Come on, guys. Rem remember as when when you oh my god when you <laughs> recall when you remind yeah when, ah, remember when you have when you have when you when, <laughs> when a memory a and, memory okay comes oh comes to or mind uh-huh okay and again mine is uh -huh. remind is when you say uh, to someone, don't forget it. Remind it. It's like you remind uh, someone of something. Yeah. Yeah. So um, it's, a it's like are are, are both verbs? Remind. I remember. <laughs> conjugate. <laughs> conjugate. Conjugate. Yes. So yes. Yes. That's yes. the way. That's the way, yes. Rosalina. Yeah, if you have yeah. doubts, just conjugate it and go like, okay. Yeah. Hey, come on. I only have Rosalina, Ada Patricia, Gabriela, Susana, and Julia. 
Where are the other verbs? Flor, Ada? No, Ada is here already. I'm sorry. Uh, Nelson, come on, Nelson. What's going on with you? Dígale a la bicha que no, que te está estudiando inglés. Okay, check. There you go. Check. Que no lo distraiga. Wilfredo, what's going on? Come on. I need one verb. Just one. Carla. Es que no me deja así, pues, mija. ¿Qué le pasa? I'm sorry, guys. I'm watching Pablo Escobar. <laughs> On Netflix. It's, that guy is really crazy. He's really insane. He was. Or is. I don't know. Check. Okay. How do you say? How do you say that? Really? Oh, scratch. 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 Yes. Scratch. You. scratch. Yes. I remember. <laughs> scratch. How, how do you pronounce it? Hey. Scratch. Uh, what? Cars. Rascar. Rascar. <laughs> Rascar. Scratch. <laughs> scratch. 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 Scratch, scratch, not scratch. Wait, scratch. Scratch. Um, scratch, door. No, scratch, scratch. Is it the same <laughs> as scratch my screen? No. Yeah. Yeah. Be careful. You can use it as a noun or as a verb. Oh, my screen is scratched. Scratch. I scratched my screen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next, come on. Okay, when you're in the bathroom. It's crash. Mm. No. <laughs> no, you don't you don't use your nails. You don't yes. use your nails. You use yes, the tip. I, my, yes. You use the tip of your fingers to do this. So how do you say that? <laughs> it's very similar. I don't know why I'm thinking on brush. What? Brush. Yes. Brush. Brush. Mm. That's brush. That's no, brush. Well, it's this other, other action you 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 do in the bathroom. It's a scroll. It's other verb. Scroll. It's a scroll. Scrub. Scroll. You scrub your body. Yes. Scroll. Scroll. ¿Cómo se dice cobrar cuando te deben? Me debe la vecina. Oh, you look at that, out. Walter, spread, scratch, uh, charge. I'll charge oh. you. I'm not charging you. I'm not charging you for teaching you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so charge. Um, mm -hmm. And let me make it easy for you. Okay, so with these verbs, You have two options. Number one, you can write sentences using these verbs. Okay. I just I just need you to use per conjunctions, okay, in groups. The same sentences. All of you will have the same sentences. I mean, my expectation will be for you to make a story, you know, a very short five line story, but that's too much. Okay, that's too much right now. If you feel that you are very creative, give it a shot. Okay, give it a shot and be my guest. Be my guest. Come on, be my guest. You can try it if you want. If not, just make the sentences, but use pair conjunctions, okay? I not only, I don't, let's see. Not only, not only I, not only I, what? Not only I listened to, to the vinyl disc, not only I listened to your vinyl disc, but also I scratched it. <laughs> You didn't get it. No solo escuché tu disco de vinil. 
Este también lo, les... rayé. lo rayé. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Man. And that, that's a new trend. Everybody's listening to music on vinyl again. Okay. Let's go. Four teams. Just do your best. Señores. Teacher, we can change the order, the verbs. Sure, combine oh. them, combine them just as I did right now. I combine the verbs. Acuérdense que ahí quedó en el chat de Zoom. Eh, dos, necesito que trabajen en equipo, por favor. Veo que se unen y todos empiezan a trabajar juntos. Y es como. <laughs> Siento que se van a esconder en algún lado mejor. Come on, guys. You can do it. Let's go. Okay, hypochondriac, hypochondriac. How do you say that in English? <laughs> Let's go. Ya llegó. Okay, ya no podemos hablar. Okay, ya no podemos hablar. Ya está ahí. Okay, we make a um, sentence. For make a little story, we use these verbs. And con, 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 Vamos a hacer un pequeño cuento. Ok. De sobre. Usando estos verbos que están aquí en el, en el, aquí en el chat. En el chat. Enjoy, luz, compose, compose. Ah, no, ¿Eh? pero es que solo están en el otro, no están en este red. No, you can see in the chat, you can see. I show you. Look, oh, ya van a ver. Ok. No, no puedo mostrarlo. I'm working. Ok. No, si, si, si lo mostraba se podía ver toda la pantalla, pero no veo. Ok. You travel and... We can use another verb to complete the story. Mm. Or another, oh. another, another topic. For example, vacation, trip. Or, I don't know. I am sorry. I had a problem. With my... Hello. I had an emergency. I'm sorry. Ah, don't worry. I'm too late. And ask, tell me. Hi, Wilfredo. Uh, hi, how are you? The... Now, better. <laughs> okay, great to hear that. And the teacher told us that we have to make a story using 14 verbs, I guess. 14. Four? 14? 14 verbs. I'm okay. But... No, no, uh, uh, sorry. Uh, Not necessarily the, 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 the story. Uh, you can just make sentences if you want. I mean, sure. you, um, yep. we, can, we can use some, uh, use um, any verb. No, the ones on the chat. Ah, the chat, I'm sorry. The, the Zoom chat. Zoom chat. Yeah. No, what's up? The Zoom chat. Ah, um, okay. okay. I can see teacher. 
It. You cannot see them. Mm, in my case, no. I. I, I only. Oh, because I, you I, you left. Yes, you, I yeah, left. Exactly. You were you were not here. Okay. Screw, spread, trash, check. Uh huh. Compose, um, eat, choose, lose, enjoy. It starts from. Rosalena said, "Enjoy." Let me see if I can just resend them. Wow. It's not 14, it's less than that. It's like seven. There you go. Okay. Choose, lose, enjoy, lose, choose it. In what kind of the time, teacher? What? Sorry? In, in the structure of the verb? Uh, no, in... you, need, you need to use per conjunctions. Ah, okay. Use the per con connect conjunction with these verbs. That's right. Not only I enjoy going to, not only I used to enjoy going to consumer, but also I used to get lost. <laughs> okay. Right? Okay, example. right. Okay, go ahead. Okay, thank you, teacher. Wake up, wake up. Yes, wake up. Not wake you, up. Floor. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Keep going. No, but apply for me too, teacher. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah. Everybody, let's go, continue. No, no, in this moment, but uh, Okay. Okay, uh, I write. Yes. Yeah. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, but. Hitting the in the in the sentence sentence. Not only I enjoyed the movie, but I also lost my mind. Not, no, also, not only enjoy the movie, is correct, but also. Yeah, but, uh, it, but I think uh, okay. it, it sounds better in past. Ah, uh, yes. So you have to change the verb. Love, sir. The idea. Yes. Mm -hmm. Enjoyed it in past, it lost. Mm -hmm. No, is a uh, lost is with the with the T. Lost. Let it T. No. Uh, yeah, no, it's L O S T without the E. L O S T. Okay. Yes. Okay. The next bar. Choose. Is I lost my mind. <laughs> okay. Um. Check on both. Mm. I am thinking. <laughs>
also check my lungs. Teacher, we cannot teacher. 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 Hello, I'm sorry. I'm sending <laughs> I was sending you a message right now. Uh-huh. Yeah, sorry. We can't we can only use also. No. But for example, the... for example, I have an example. Peter not only composed a song, also he sang it. But also, ah, he, but also. Sang, he sang it or he sang it. Compose. Okay, if you are you are we talking in past? No. Mm. So Peter not only composed, no solo compuso. Oh, that's past. Oh. Peter not only composed, composed a song, uh huh, a song, but also he sang it. He sang it. That's right. Uh, uh, but it's it's correct. But also, is it is uh -huh. it correct? But also, yes. No. Oh. Perfect. Perfect. There's another. Not only the doctor check my heart, but also mm -hmm. he check my lungs okay in present third person don't forget uh, not, not, not only all... the doctor checks, checks my heart but also he checks my lungs perfect okay. but also my lungs yeah yeah not only he checks my heart but also my lungs <laughs> yeah that's right okay very good Okay, keep it up. Aha, Gabriela, tell your... Yeah, uh, we choose on my vacations, either I can choose go to the beach or go to the mountain. Go is not on the list. Hmm. <laughs> is go on the list? Go. Yeah. No. No. Choose. No. Oh, cho choose. Okay, choose. Cho choose. Choose. Mm -hmm. Go to the beach or go to the mountain. <laughs> yeah. Can I say either eat pizza or chicken? I prefer pizza. I can either. I eat. can. Are you saying either I either. can either I can eat chicken or pizza? Yeah. Wow. Hmm. Okay. It's like a question. Mm. No. Yeah, you could use models as well. Can I use this with a question? Yes, but you will need to use models. Would you rather eat? Mm. Would you rather eat pizza or chicken? Mm. That's an, a, another topic. Would you rather? Mm -hmm. If you neither or either, what is um, what is a scratch? I, a scratch and a screw. A scratch is 
rascarse, ¿no? Yes. Sí, 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 yes. Scrub. Scrub. Fregar. Scrub. Fregarse Fregar. el cuerpo. Ah, ok. ¿Cómo se dice? Ajá. Cepillarse. Uh, es lo mismo. Ya, yeah. uh ajá. -huh. Ok, fregarse. Pero Morning. Ay. Oh, qué difícil. Ajá, porque es... You can use... Scrub Ahí tenemos dishes. que cambiar, por ejemplo, meter un animalito, si todo rasca la, la tierra. Si todo. Uh -huh. Scrub. Uh -huh. Cambiar la existencia y story. Ah, le, le damos vuelta a la historia, hacemos otro, hacemos otra historia. No, 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 continuemos, pero démosle otro giro. Ajá, okay, pero okay. agreguémosle What? algo ahí diferente. Ajá. What? What can we use? Que antes está chef, chef, chef. Before, before party. Eh, before party. Chequeamos or, or, pet, or pet uh -huh. in my house. Uh, I understand. Mm -hmm. Check, check our pets in house house in Mr. Casa house house. I'm sorry, Sandra. I can't hear you. Before party. Check. Oh. Check. Check all details of the, the part. Check all details. All the details. Ah, all, all, the, all the details. All the details. Finals. Todos los detalles finales. All the final <laughs> details. Final, final. All, all five. All the details. final details. All, all the final the details. Okay. The, all the, all the five. Final details. Uh -huh. And the conjunction. Okay. But also. Pero. Um, but you can use not only. But also, podemos usar solo un pedacito, ¿verdad? No, tenemos que usar así, not only in the next box. Okay. Okay. For so party check all final details. Maybe use either. Either. Como diciendo que nadie o of the tiempo, maybe. Okay. Los my glasses. Maybe. El no open, but also. No, El either en or puede ser el otro que podemos utilizar. Yeah. It. And in shoes. In either. Yeah. I. Intelligent, but also. He 
he not only choose good. Okay. But also, no solo coge bien. But also, I'm sorry, in but, this moment I am not creative. <laughs> what, what do you want to write? What, what, what kind of sentence do you want to write? The the, the sentence with use the verb choose. Choose, yes. Yes, the conjunction may be only, only, not only, but also. This is a conjunction there. The other is either not or, uh -huh. or neither nor. Um, okay. Uh, for example, no. Not also. Not also. Not only. Not only. Uh, not only. Mm -hmm. Not only. I. <laughs> I. I choose. Not only. Choose. I uh huh. It depends. The movie. Not on. <laughs> I'm sorry. We. The movie. No solo. Choose. A good movie. Yes. A good movie. But also. I chose the snack. Snacks. Delicious <laughs> snack. The company. Yes. <laughs> yes. <See? laughs> company. <laughs> snacks company. or company. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, no, Expo, but oh, also. Oh. También he choose he choose chooses chooses choose because he's third person chooses choose them chooses <laughs> go ahead good company but the company the other person yes yes good company okay not only choose a good movie, but also Okay, 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 okay. Let's just wait for your classmates. Okay, was it difficult? Yes. Not, not only it was difficult, not only was it difficult, not only was it difficult, but also it took us some time to understand. But also it's a good no, Yeah. No, also, but it's difficult, um, but <laughs> but also is uh, I need a long time. <laughs> I, need, I need more, more time. time. That's right. I need more time. That's <laughs> right, Sandra. Nice try. Just don't forget you're you're making that you're getting confused with that. Like I everybody. <laughs> First you say not all not only and then but also not only but also not only but also nor I'm sorry uh, neither nor either or both and 
What was the other? That's it. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of per conjunctions. So give me your examples. Who wants to, who did something that blow your mind? Something that blow your mind. You said, oh my God, I got it. I work with Carla and Sandra, but they don't finish. Yeah, of course, nobody finished. I, I don't think it, that somebody finished actually. But can you give me an example of a sentence that you build? Okay. Not only we will enjoy a good party, but also have a good remember. A good? Remind. Memory. <laughs> to have a good oh, memory. A good memory. Okay. Yeah. Hey, that's not a verb. Memory. That's the noun. Good job. Okay. That was a nice one. Somebody else? Can Did I say, it? sorry, teacher. You sing enjoy. Not only enjoy the movie, but also, not, not only I enjoy the movie, but also the music. The soundtrack. Oh, the soundtrack. Oh, mm -hmm, okay. mm -hmm. okay. The soundtrack of the movie. But it's okay. Perfect. Did anybody use, did anybody use neither nor or neither or? Either or. Neither. I don't like neither. <laughs> no. Me neither. <laughs> uh -huh. Did anybody use neither nor either or? Either you give me a sentence or I will select somebody. <laughs> Either you give me a sentence or I will select someone. Okay, well, do you think uh, tonight, I'm staying tonight with, Ga no, 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 Gabriela Alejandra Gonzalez Flores, right? Yeah, because Gabriel stood with me last time on Friday. No, yesterday. Okay. So, Gabriel Alejandra Gonzalez Flores, will you please stay with me in 10 minutes? Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay, guys. Share your examples on the WhatsApp group. So, as a homework, come on. <laughs> Just one, one sentence. But I need you to show me that you can use neither nor either or okay so send me just one example with neither nor and one with either or okay i'll be waiting for that on the whatsapp to the whatsapp group please uh the patricia linares galdames adriana stephanie martinez flores hmm. ana sermi chavez Present teacher. Thank you. Edwin Alexander Ayalerazo. Flor de Maria Carvalho Ugarte. Present. Good night. Good night. Gabriel Ignacio Lara. No. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Thank you, Gloria. Yes. Good night. Julia Patricia Vasquez Santos. Present. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Carla Verónica Vasquez de Rivas. Present. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Teacher. Good night. Of Good night. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Amelia Beatriz Posada Reina. Present. Good night. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present, teacher. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present, teacher. Good night. Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Pérez. Stephanie? No. 
I think I saw her. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Mm. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher, good night. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. <laughs> good night. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Okay, good night, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Don't miss your class. See you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good night. My friend, your friend. Rest a lot. The start hey. the, the, the soccer, the weeks, the weekends. Yes. The <laughs> Saturday, I'm going to go to play the Texas semifinales. How do you say? Semifinals? Where? where? Semifinals. Yes. Do you know Texas, the Pekka teacher? Mm, no. Never been there, but I, I heard. I it heard is it, it is a nice place because it is so hot, like um, San Miguel. Wow. San Miguel. Yes, it is so hot. It's very hot. Oh, yes. Oh. Okay. Okay. Bye. We'll see. Okay, Good night, Walter. Okay. Nice bye. to see you, Walter. Take okay. care. Bye. Thank you. Nice to see you, Thank you. Take care, buddy. Y no nos quieren dejar sol. <laughs> Hello, yeah. Gabriela. How are you? I'm fine. I'm tired. <laughs> Why are you tired? You work? Mm -hmm. yeah, of course you work, right? Yes. <laughs> yes, I work. Of course, teacher. Do you really, really work? Yeah. <laughs> well, yes, what's the saying? Course. Working hard or hardly working? Uh, both. <laughs> <laughs> no, it cannot be both. You you either, you either, wait, either you work hard or you are hardly working. You're hardly working. I'm hardly working. Apenas y trabajo. Okay. <laughs> Good. So, um, Gabriela, the first session, I typically do this in Spanish at the first session of the 10 minutes, you know, but we're in advance, so that wouldn't be appropriate, right? Tell me two questions. Number one, what has been your experience with English? Like, you know, how long have you been trying to learn English? That's like the first question. And number two, what have you noticed is your area of improvement? Like something that you say, oh my God, I'm not good at this. Yes. Uh, well, actually I use English every day because I work in logistics and I coordinate the shipments with different from different countries so uh, English is necessary but uh, I think that I need to improve my um, uh, how do you say <laughs> um, fluidez my, your fluency yeah fluency because every day I use it but only uh, writing uh, by email but I uh, actually I don't practice uh, my speaking so I need to improve this hmm. this area mm -hmm. which area speaking uh, speaking yes speaking speaking okay tu principal área de oportunidad en lo que acabas de mencionar son los sonidos finales. Porque hablas bien. Um, dijiste varias cosas. A ver, think. Think. I think, I think, I think, I think, I think. Ojo, no es un sonido en los dientes, sino que aquí atrás, en la garganta. I think. I think. Hacele. Ahí, think, think, think. Ahí estás. Think. 
Su suavecito, I think. Okay. I think. okay. I think you're thin. Repeat, I think you're thin. I think you're... <laughs> I think she's thin. I think she's thin. 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 Look, I think she's thin. I think she's thin or fit. Ah, you see? Thin. I think she's fit. Mm, okay. okay. Hey, how is Roberto's girlfriend? I think she's thin. Right? This is a topic oh. for girls. I'm sorry. A topic for girls, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah. So final sounds. Uh, the pronunciation of this word. I use it. I use it. I use it. Mm -mm. I use it. I use it. I use it at work. I use it at work every day. I use it at work every day. Okay. I use it at work every day. Esto, um, a este punto ya tendrás, tienes que haber entendido que cuando una T está entre dos vocales, so now when I edit it, 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 it. so I use it at work. I use it at work every day. I use it at work every day. I sorry. I I use it at work every day. Better. I use it at work every day. Use it at work every day. Esa frase te podría ayudar a agilizar. Entonces, a este punto, si quieres mejorar tu pronunciación tenés que empezar a articular de esa manera y agarrar una frase, una frase como esa, por ejemplo, y andas repitiendo, repitiendo, repitiendo. Y te grabas en el teléfono. Ah, sí, bien, ¿ya? El, el meollo del asunto. Y bueno, vamos a ver, ayer les envié un link a WhatsApp con, me quedé con Gabriel ayer y, y les enviaba ese link de Rong Chang. Así se llama el, el link. Rong Chang. ¿Por qué lo envié? Igual el de youglish.com. Esos dos. Rong Chang son como 250 audios con su transcripción. Entonces, lo que le sugiero yo a las personas que quieren aumentar su speaking y su pronunciación es esa página. Esa página está como enriquecida con el texto. Mm -hmm. del, 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 el texto no discrimines. Agarra uno. Y lo haces unos tres, cinco días. O sea, programar solo ese texto. No vas a estudiar nada más. Entonces, ¿cómo lo haces? Descargas o copias y pegas en Word ese texto. Entre, en esa conversación entre dos personas. O lo reescribís como tú gustes. Día uno. Ando escuchando y leyendo con la boca cerrada. Solo con la vista vas a leer. Y escuchando. ¿Qué es eso? Que tu cerebro se adecue al sonido y lo estás engañando porque te, te estás enseñando cómo se lee porque el principal problema que tenemos es que ya las, las letras en inglés ya las conocemos, es el mismo abecedario ¿sí? son los dos o tres letras, le faltan al americano entonces el cerebro se tiene que adecuar a los sonidos diferentes, a ver día dos o tres eh, empiezo a articular, a leer ya cada vez que pueda leer y escuchar, leer y escuchar, repetir, repetir, repetir. Ok. El punto es que cuando tú ya sientas la confianza, te podás grabar intentando entonar en, en, en cada palabra que digas. Ojo, los sonidos mm -hmm. finales. Entonces te grabas, tú te grabas y ya comparas el audio ese. Porque dice el audio junto con tu audio. Y eso se llama autocorrección. Que fue la manera en la que yo, yo aprendí desde los siete años. Diosito me regaló eso como de autorregañarme. A mí mismo me sentía raro a veces porque no tenía amigos ni nada. Sino que era como andar hablando solo todo el tiempo y todo eso. <risa> y que algunos, algunos cheros me decían, pues está loco. Eh. <risa> Y todavía lo hago, a veces ando manejando y hablando solo. Pero es importante que te escuches. 
Entonces va a llegar un punto en el que tú te, te vas a decir, bueno, lo primero es que qué fea mi voz, ¿verdad? Lo, la primera reacción que uno tiene cuando se escucha. Y la segunda, empezar a decir, uy, dije scratch, scratch, y ahí dice scratch. O sea, ese es el punto. Y te vas corrigiendo. Uh -huh. Te corregís la pronunciación, volvés a grabarte y entonces vas comparando. Ya lo logré. Ya logro leer bien todo eso, teacher. Súper bien. En tono, súper bien, súper bien. Entonces ahora me compro un quejito de chocolate y me gratifico yo solo. Motivación. Ajá, y me digo mismo, hey, súper bien. <risa> <risa> Sos excelente. <risa> Así va, hey, qué bárbara. Súper bien, ¿Okay? ¿ok? Cualquier otra idea que quieras, o sea, escríbeme, ¿ok? Uh, amigo, con gusto. ¿Qué? Ok, thank you. Yes. Eh, de hecho, eh, me sirve en Spotify, hay un, un podcast que se llama Expresso English or something like that. That's good, yeah, Expresso. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. sí, ahorita no lo he escuchado, pero sí, a veces cuando tengo tiempo me pongo a, a oírlo y siento que funciona, estoy diciendo algo, bueno That's a good academy actually es una buena academia, en el 2014 me acuerdo que ocupaba algunos de sus materiales y súper bien, habla mucho en contexto, así como temas bien generales, para que todo mm -hmm. el idioma ya de lleno del contexto real, es so, bueno ok, super good good night then, Gabriela see you tomorrow thank you teacher, bye bye